So welcome to this week's Mentor Smith Tips and it is being filmed in sunny Northern Ireland where for once in quite a long time we have a lovely sunny day outside and in the background you can see a beautiful view. This is my mum's back garden. It's fabulous and you can probably see the children running around somewhere and today is Saturday here and we have pyjama day on a Saturday so the kids refuse to get out of their pyjamas and they're running around in their welly boots and their PJs with a jumper on. So although it's nice and sunny outside it's also cold so whilst I might have my sunglasses on I've also got my thermals on. So I hope you enjoy this week's Mentor Smith tips. So today I want to debate one of the biggest aha moments I've had throughout the last couple of years and I have called this the great social media swindle and it might be quite controversial and it might take more than one video post for me to really discuss and get into it but it's something that I, I feel really strongly about and I want to impart and share that information with you. And so what am I talking about? Well, a couple of years ago, well, I'm quite new to social media for a start. I think I only really started with Facebook about four years ago, and, and that was when um, my family and I moved back from Australia to, uh, to live in Ireland, and we wanted to keep in contact with everybody, and everybody said, oh, you need to do Facebook. And before that, I wasn't even doing social media. I just thought, no, I don't have time to do this. And so I started with Facebook, and very soon I got hooked like everybody does and, and then I started to think okay you know people are using this for business I'll set up a business account and I started to use it for business and I, I started to post in that and I started to grow my followers and, and I did that for a couple of years and um, you know like all of us I wondered well how does this work or is this going to sell my product how Am I going to build a fan base? You know, do you pay for this? Do you go ahead and boost a post? Do you do a Facebook ad? And, you know, I really didn't know what to do. So I started to hear other people talk about how social media was in itself another business and that we were giving our content away to another business for free. And things in my head started to twig here and they were talking about how every time you every time somebody comes to your website and you've got a link up that says like my facebook page and if those people click on that link and then go to facebook then you're actually sending those people away from your your site you're actually sending those people who are already on your website looking at your product you're sending them to another business and at the same time, if you think about Facebook and how Facebook works and all the posts that all your posts are getting lost, I mean, they, they only have a lifespan of what a day, two days, something like that, maybe slightly more if it's something like um, Pinterest or Instagram. But the fact is that you're giving social media your content and you're giving them for free. But at the same time, these other businesses and other social media platforms they're then asking you to pay to promote your free content so these light bulbs kind of started to go off for me because okay we're artists jewelers fine artists designer makers whatever type of medium you work at and we work really hard to create our, our work and we've got beautiful product and then we're basically giving another business an entire gallery of information for free and then on top of that we're expected to pay to promote these even further to, to what to what means to, to sell more um, to gain followers to gain fans to gain people looking you know what exactly is happening here and when I went and had a look at Facebook and I had a, a look in my photo section and I saw over the couple of years I had literally posted like a couple of hundred images and some lovely images, images of work I've done, images of behind the scenes shots, images of design work, inspiration images and then it also twigged in me that 
none of those images were represented on my website. And, and that was a really big moment for me. So not only was I sharing my information with another business and giving it away for free, I had given them possession of all this fabulous content, my work, but yet I hadn't bothered putting my work on my own website for my own customers to see. And therefore, that content was basically just lost somewhere in whatever it's called, cyberspace or the ether or whatever. And I started to look more at this and I looked at people talking about this online. And, you know, there, there's the suggestion that you, you shouldn't really even have any type of uh, social media icons on your website because that is just taking people away from your own website and I wanted to really explore this that, you know that this is the social media game I call it and what did that mean and how could I change that and so I made a decision then and there that I was going to start blogging and now everybody freaks out when you hear about blogging and oh my goodness and what are you going to write but what I, what I really meant by this was that I was going to make a conscious effort of putting this content on my website first. I was going to write about it on the website and I you know most websites have some form of blogging function it doesn't matter whether you're using a Shopify platform or Squarespace or or WordPress there's some sort of writing function on there and I I had swapped to a WordPress site at this point and you know it's a big blogging platform so I decided right I was going to start writing each of my posts as a and call it a blog post where I wrote a bit of information about it and I had a nice image and, and maybe I had other images in the post but I had one main image and then once I had that post on my website then I thought about right well how am I going to share that to social media and how am I going to do that and of course you can do that in a couple of ways you can share the link from your website directly to Facebook so that means if anybody on Facebook clicks on that particular link they'll be brought back to your website and, and that means you're using social media to drive the traffic back to your website not taken away and then I started to put the same information and, and grow the different platforms I was putting that same piece of content on and for me Instagram is still my biggest growing social media platform it grows really fast I've got such a lot more followers on it a lot of more people engaging on a daily basis but Facebook is still the one that's still bringing more people back to my website. Now, what I like about Instagram is that it's visual and it's like, you know, you're creating, creating a, like almost like a gallery of information. So I, I use Instagram as a, a visual tool, a way that I can see visually what I'm posting about over the, the coming weeks. And then I go back to my website and I write it there and, and I'm probably about a year and a half down that track and you know I started that from nothing I didn't have any posts on my website to begin with and what I've got now is well hundreds I think I do have a couple of hundred of posts now that all belong to my website I own all that content it's all there yes you can see it on social media if you want as well but once people come to the website, there's now a collection of images and, you know, with blogging functions, there's ways that they can search through that information. And what I've started to do recently is I've started to split that content into different kind of themes. So in one section, I call it stories. And, and these are the stories about all the one off pieces I make for clients, because each of those pieces has an amazing story behind it, something very personal to that wearer and so I call those my stories where it's a nice image of a piece and the story behind it and how it was made and I don't worry too much about even the length of that piece of content because I know I can I can go back into the blog post and expand on it at a later date I just concentrate on getting the image in there and getting some sort of information in there and then I've also started up another section about my inspiration so that they're all grouped together and 
For me, my inspirations come from, you know, photography I like to take and um, my drawings and, and all my behind the scene shots, process shots, and I've started to group them separately so that when you come onto the website, you can either click on stories to read the stories about the pieces or you can click on a section called Get Inspired, which shows it's basically how I view the world through my eyes. What I want you to do today is to go away and think about that. You know, like I said, I am calling this the big social media swindle. Now, I am not against social media because we have to use social media these days. It really allows us to push our work so much further away and so much more internationally. But at the same time, you know, look at what you're putting on social media i bet you if you go away and look you'll see like me you've given away so much of your content for free and that's fine you've done that but let's see if you can change it and it's just a little bit of a change of mindset and how you work so start to look at that and instead of posting straight to social media see if there's a way you can put it on your website first because then you own it and then you can share it on social media and, and try and get the, the cycle to be the other way around. So instead of sending everybody away to social media to view your work, you're using social media to push your work and your followers back to your own website, which is where you want them. And I would love to hear your comments for that. And if you wish to comment on this video, please do so below and don't forget to give the video a like and if you're on youtube don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for listening to today's mentor smith tips <laughs>